Hello everyone, welcome to my channel because we've received so many questions about our daughter Tiara's red spot on her nose between her eyes. I thought I would present a short video on what it actually was and what we did to help her. I am also making this video because there are several of you might be going through what we went through with Tiara. Also, let me say that before you apply any medication to your child, you should talk to their pediatrician first. I am not a doctor. I am just explaining to you what happened in Tiara's situation. So let's start from the day she was born. For the first week after her birth, as you can see in the picture, there was no signs other than the slight red spot. There was nothing else that looked abnormal. However, starting after two weeks, that slight red spot began to get a little darker and also started to raise from the surface of her skin. So when we took her to our pediatrician for her first visit, we were told it was possibly an angel kiss, a stork bite, a birthmark, and to not worry because it would go away. We have a great pediatrician, but we were concerned about her diagnosis because Tiara's Red spot is now a full-blown red mass of blood vessels between her eyes and it seemed to keep growing. So after our next pediatrician's visit, when we were told that although it looked bad and was still growing, that we should still not worry and that it would possibly disappear by the time she would be 8 to 10 years old. To us, this seemed like too long to wait, especially if it might get even bigger and start affecting her vision. So we decided to do our own research. My husband and I went online and researched hundreds of pictures to try and determine what exactly it was. And after many hours of research, we decided that it most closely resembled a hemangioma and not an angel kiss. We decided this because all the other discoloration were not raised and not as dark and did not seem to keep growing. So we agreed it was a hemangioma and we hoped to find a topical remedy because we did not want her to take a strong medication by mouth at such a young age. So after many more hours of research, we found a topical solution called Temelol Hydrogel. So we decided that we would contact our pediatrician to see if she would agree with our findings. Fortunately, she did. And because um, it's a fairly new medicine and she never heard of Temelol, but still agreed with our findings, and prescribed three months worth of medicine as a trial. So I repeat to you who are watching this video, don't apply any medication or anyone else's remedy unless a real pediatrician approves it. So upon receiving our first dose of Timolol Hydrogel, we applied it twice a day, morning and at night, and had to monitor Tiara's reaction to it very closely and at 43 days 81 days and 100 days by god's grace we realized it was working so we contacted our pediatrician and to let her know it was working and she was very excited to learn our research was correct and she agreed to keep the prescription going for a full year. And this is our daughter today. She is now one year and five months old. And you can see just how well this medicine is working and how beautiful our Tiara Gracious is today. The medicine is not too expensive, about $13 per month with some insurance and maybe some of you may get it even cheaper. Remember, it's topical, so we are not recommending anything that your baby has to ingest or swallow. So if you find this video helpful, 
please subscribe and share this video. We hope that it will help someone like it helped our tiara. God bless you all and thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.